she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gun play. Oh my, yeah. Talk of the city with the body. Always getting praised like it's Sunday. She said, baby, what you gonna do about it? Hey everyone, it's Shinezi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Nezo, and to another vlog. In today's video, it is extremely windy as you can see. Alright, it's a little better. In today's video, I am joining my brother on an island tour. We're going to several tourist attractions on the western side of Grenada. We're going to be doing a little mini series so you can get an idea of what you can expect if you do a tour with him. I have promoted my dad already on this channel and my brother is joining the family business so now you have two options if you want to support me by booking a tour with either my dad or my brother so i'll leave the information in the description below so you can contact my brother and experience a tour with him yourself today i am decked off in the edwin frank taxi and tours uniform as you can see and I'm looking forward to a fun day showing off Grenada. Hi Nezel fam, I am Sidoni Frank. I've recently joined my father in expanding Edwin Frank tours and taxi services. And we will be doing a series of videos showcasing different tourist attractions around Grenada. Right, so today is just the first video. You can look forward to many videos showing you key areas. So for all the persons in the diaspora who want a enjoyable informative tour of Grenada you book with Edwin Frank tours and taxi services we're at our first stop right now which is the Concord waterfall the Concord waterfall is a series of three waterfalls along the Black Bay River however only the first waterfall is accessible by the road for the other two waterfalls you would have to hike right the second waterfall is about a 10 to 15 minute walk depending on how quickly you can hike and the third waterfall much higher up is about an hour's hike so for the adventurous persons you can embark on that however today we're just going to be looking at the first waterfall there's a lot of buses up here today because it's cruise ship season so the road to come up is very long very winding it can be quite challenging but it's exciting there's a lot to see along the way to Concord waterfall in terms of herbs and spices and trees and it's very very beautiful there's also guys who jump from the top and it's just a one US entrance fee to go down to the waterfall so let's go loving your vibe girl that energy got me going Concord waterfall, everybody. The person's having a little dip. Welcome to the best place on earth. Welcome to the best place on earth. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. 
Our community grand ride honors and pays tribute to our distinguished son, Slinger Francisco, the mighty sparrow, Calypso King of the World. We are proud of you. We thank you for your contribution to the Calypso art form. Ah, yeah. Hey. Amaru. Only if you're ready, 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 ready. Let's go. I'm only looking for loyalty, all I need from you. I'm thinking you be the one for me. I can see it on you. Your love they do me every time. Did you by my side we gon' The Guav Siwa reconstruction funded by the United States Agency for International Development under the Hurricane Many Project 2001 with the government of Grenada. So this seawall was constructed to prevent a reoccurrence of what took place in Hurricane Lenny when all the roads were washed away because the road was on the same level with the sea. So now we have that defense mechanism so that if a hurricane like that was to occur again, we would not expect that degree of flooding. I can switch it up for you girl, I'm no longer a player. That pretty face on my screen that'll make my day. Hey, hey, I'm only looking for loyalty. All I need from you, I'm thinking you be the one for me. I can see it on you. Your love they do me every time. With you by my side, we gon' shine. Be big girl, you know you royalty. I've been waiting for you. Here we have a beautiful mural showing all of the Prime Ministers in Grenada from Sir Eric Matthew Gary all up to Honorable Deacon Mitchell. And next to it we have all of the Governor Generals starting with Sir Leo de Gale, then Sir Paul Schoon, then we have Sir Reginald Palmer and Sir Daniel Williams. So those are the four at the top from left to right. And at the bottom, we have our most recent, Sir Carly Glean, who was the Governor General from 2008 to 2013. And our current Governor General, Dame Cecile Lagrenade, who has been Governor General from 2013 to present. And then here we have all of our Prime Ministers from the Right Honorable Sir Eric Matthew Gary, Comrade Morris Bishop, the Right Honourable Herbert Blaze, Honourable Ben Jones, Honourable Nicholas Braffitt, Honourable George Brazan, The Right Honourable Keith Mitchell, Honourable Tillman Thomas and our current Prime Minister, Honourable Deacon Mitchell. So it's a really, really beautiful mural here in Victoria St. Mark and at the end of the mural we see the Grenada flag. Alright guys, so we're now here at the Victoria Grenada Nutmeg Museum where you can get an historical overview of nutmeg as well as some insight into the medicinal properties. You know, nutmeg is very rich in antioxidants, antibacterial properties, anti-inflammatory properties. It aids with libido and a host of other hot benefits so nutmeg is something that you want to use sparingly because it can be toxic in high quantities but in the right proportions it is a very healthy addition to the diet nutmeg is added to many products in terms of value-added products so it is very important and this nutmeg museum is playing a critical role in the tourism industry in showcasing the variety of products that can come from nutmeg so let's take a walk. The nutmeg is a very diverse spice where the pericarp, the mace and the seed all has very important uses. Here we have the mace 
and you can see different parts of the mace and different parts are used for different things so this mace here can be used for cooking so we use it in soups and so then mace number two is used to preserve things like salami sausages and corned beef and then mace number three is used in things like nail polish perfume lipstick etc there's a sign here that talks about how they receive and inspect the nutmegs here there's a beautiful chart showing the difference between acceptable and unacceptable nutmeg as well as acceptable and unacceptable mace and below it we have some examples of nutmegs as well as mace it's worth noting that there are three types of nutmeg. There's the Banda, the Malayan, and the Papua. So the Banda is the original nutmeg, which was brought here in 1843 and planted at the Belvedere Estate. Then the Malayan nutmeg came after Hurricane Janet. And the Papua nutmeg is very rich in oil. And a nutmeg tree can be either male or female. Here they have some examples of the three types of nutmeg so there's the banda which is here so this one is the banda nutmeg next to it we have the papua nutmeg and finally the malayan nutmeg so when you come here you can get a tour with this wonderful gentleman here mr frank edwin and he will explain it for you there is a cost of three us for adults and children are free so if you're interested in getting the full tour and smelling the nutmeg seeing everything i encourage you to check out the grenada nutmeg museum and experience it for yourself here's the nutmeg drying station here they are drying so you see a bunch of them drying and they have this stick here that they use to like you know roll it and so there's a plaque here as well where they explain the drying process so after about six weeks they inspect it to see the quality and then they bag it and store it for further processing there's some wooden stairs here the dried nutmeg seed in its shell is cracked they use a mallet or so to crack it and then they separate the seeds or extract the seeds manually so here you see the shells and then you can see the nutmegs that came out from inside the shell and this is what you will grate and use to cook or as a spice in different drinks here is a nutmeg you see the, the pericarp and then you have the mace and the black part is the nutmeg shell nutmeg is casually referred to as a woman in the boat with a red petticoat and the woman is actually the nutmeg seed with the yellowish part being the boat and the mace being the red petticoat so 90 percent of our nutmeg trees were destroyed during hurricane ivan unfortunately we replanted many of them and you know we have come a long way from where we were back then but we still have a long way to go water flotation where the nutmeg kernels are poured in water and the workers will agitate the seeds using their hands to see the different grades of the seeds so the light ones will float to the top whereas the heavier ones which are the ones with the most oil will sink to the bottom so the heavier nutmegs are used to make things like cakes, eggnogs, and ice cream, while the lighter ones are used to make things like aftershave, nutmeg oil, etc. And here they have an image depicting the light ones floating and the heavy ones sinking. Next to it, we have a lovely painting, which is showing the nutmeg tree. It's showing someone here with his bucket or basket of nutmegs and on the other end we see a lady here sorting through her nutmegs and they have some different signs on this side here it's really interesting they show the different steps i'm not really doing it in order but i do encourage you all to visit so that you can see and experience it for yourself and you can ask questions and really just immerse yourself in the experience. The eighth step is the mace cleaning step. And here they have some examples of the mace. You have some more signs on this side. And they use these to mark the bags when they are shipping them. Right, so the bags which could either be polythene or jute are marked using stencils, water paint and brushes. 
and then they are able to ship it to different parts of the world. So these are what they use in order to stencil and mark the names on the bags. Over here you can see some artifacts and so different items used over the years and examples of some of the bags, how they are shipped, saying product of Grenada, West Indies. Ground nutmeg shells, regular nutmeg shells here, so just the cracked nutmeg shells, nutmeg 80s, nutmeg 110s, ground nutmeg, the heavy nutmegs, light nutmegs, pieces of nutmegs, BWP nutmeg, not sure what that one is, <laughs> um, sound unsorted nutmeg, so these are not sorted, um, nutmeg GCN, and dry nutmeg. Here's a poster showing some of the different uses of the nutmeg, and here are some items made using nutmeg. This is very cute, a little nutmeg keychains and so, different items here, not everything is nutmeg, but some of them are. And at the top, we see, again, our Prime Ministers from our current Prime Minister, Honorable Deacon Mitchell, going all the way back to our first Prime Minister, the Honorable Sir Eric Matthew Geary. And these items here are on sale, so when you visit, you can purchase some to support. Guys, I really love these. These are things you can you hang it up and you can hang your keys and so on them. And then here, they are the shells, but they decorated them nicely. And some other lovely items here. Yes, we have purses or, you know, little cute purses or the bracelets, little bags and so, flip-flops. Really, really nicely done. All right, so we're heading out. And I want to thank the persons at the Grenada Nutmeg Museum for allowing me to film and show you guys all the awesomeness located inside. So don't forget to check them out whenever you are in Grenada. And if you live here, don't think that you shouldn't check them out. There's a lot of information here and it's really worth visiting. Good night.